Hello, Scorpios. I am going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out here, basically. Letting go. Victim consciousness. Have faith. Dreams. Home. Patience. Take off your mask. Entrapment. Help from above. Sexual arts. Discover your life purpose. Okay. I feel like a lot of you, or this could be your person as well, but I get the energy. I feel like you're telepathically connecting with someone sexually right now, or you're about to be. It's strange. It's almost like this could be somebody in spirit form, but this could also be somebody that you're just, you, you have that strong telepathic connection with because there's something about sex here. But um, let me get into the other energy too. I feel like you were kind of in a state of depression, anxiety, confusion, just kind of stuck in your head. You felt very stagnant, like things weren't moving forward. And now I think you're starting to have faith. You're starting to follow your dreams more. We got home. So I feel like some of you are being patient too when it comes to buying a home or finding where you belong, finding your soul group. I feel like you're, I almost feel like you're starting to reconnect with your soul group spirit, spiritually, like telepathically. You're starting to channel your soul group because you're getting help from above. You're getting some kind of divine support from your spirit guides is basically what I'm getting or from your soul group. So like you might be channeling your soul group um, and this might include somebody that you have this, you know, romantic sexual connection with as well. But I almost feel like you've just been looking for that feeling of home for a long time. You've been looking for that support and love. And I feel like you were in kind of a dark place where you had just lost faith that you would ever find, you know, friendships, love. Um, maybe, like I said, for some buying a house, just figuring out where you belong, basically. And I feel like now you're being a little bit more patient with yourself. You're being a little bit more gentle with yourself. You're having a more balanced perspective. And I feel like as you, it's like take off your mask, but then we have it in entra entrapment. So I almost feel like this is about shadow work where it's like, there might be certain things where it's like you're, you're not blindfolded anymore. It's like you're looking at something more clearly and the shadow work has to be done. But I feel like you'll be able to do the shadow work because you're being helped from above. You have some kind of um, spirit guides, soul group. You have some, you, someone, this could even be a god or a goddess for some of you. But I feel like you, and it could be multiple things too. It could be all of the above. It could be a deity. It could be your soul group. It could also be a soulmate or a twin flame that you're telepathically connecting with. But basically the energy I get here is that your third eye is just opening. You're very connected to the higher realms right now. So you're getting that help and support to do the shadow work, to not fall back into that pattern of, you know, I'm alone. I'm always going to be alone. I'm never going to be able to get the house or I'm never going to be able to find my people. I'm never like just feeling very disconnected, feeling very lost, very alone. It's like your spirit guides are supporting you. It's like you're going back and doing that shadow work, but your spirit guides are, are helping you through it. Um, so that you know that you're not alone, so that you have this the support this time around. You know what I mean? And I think some of you have been crying out too and like praying because you're like, I'm so alone. Like, why do I have to be so alone? And I think your spirit guides are kind of, they're finally, I think some of them don't fully understand what it's like to be human. Some of them don't. Um, I mean, you know, there's there's all different kinds of spirits, but I feel like some of the, the higher spirits that just have not like incarnate on on earth some of them don't get what it feels like to be down here like what it gets to what it feels like to have a human mind 
but I feel like your more empathetic spirit guides have kind of stepped in and taken control. Like you might have had spirit guides that were just trying to kind of make you do certain things, um, possibly just making you, you know, uh, self-sacrifice for the for the benefit of humanity. I feel like a lot of you do have a very important destiny here. But anyway, yeah, I feel like you have spirit guides that have stepped in, like your more empathetic, loving spirit guides, also members of your soul group, even if you haven't met them this lifetime, I feel like they might be channeling through other people around you. Um, that happens sometimes. So like, let's say that you have like a past life sister or something, for example, or a, like a soul sister, I guess I should say, like somebody who on a soul level, it's like they're your sister, like in the higher realms, it's like this person is like your sister, you probably have had a lot of past lives with this person. Even if they're not here on earth this lifetime, their spirit can still channel through these different people. So you'll still catch glimpses of your sister or your brother or whoever in these different people. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's kind of one of those things that's happening here right now is, um, you know, you had certain spirit guides that were just kind of ignoring your prayers and ignoring your wishes for a long time because they wanted you to do certain things or they wanted, it's, it's like they didn't really have your best interest at heart. It's, it's almost like they were more concerned about what you could do for other people and not so much concerned with like, what you personally needed, you know, they weren't as concerned with like what you as you know, the support and love that you needed yourself. And um, yeah, I just feel like you have spirit guides. Now, these could be new spirit guides, this could be new deities that you're working with or new spirit guides that you that um, maybe they've always been your spirit guides, but they might have maybe taken a back seat because these other spirit guides wanted to get things done a certain way. And now they're like, you know what, enough is enough. He or she has been alone long enough. They've been through enough trauma. Like they've experienced enough heartbreak and loss. Like you, you basically, basically in the higher realms, there are spirit guides that are stepping in on your behalf to, you know, get you the support and resources that you need. You know, like they're not just ignoring your needs anymore. They're like, you know what? This person is human. They do need love. They do need support. There's nothing wrong with that. It's totally normal to need that love. Even beings in the higher realms, they all, everybody needs love. You know, everyone, all, all beings on, on in existence, you know, they need that love. They need that support, you know, like even in the higher realms, they still, you know, they, they still have soul groups, but anyway, yeah, it, it just, it feels like there, yeah, there's that help from above. I feel like you're being reconnected with your passion, with your purpose, with um, that excitement for life. It's like you're being supported. So that's going to start giving you that motivation to to do things again, to go out and get things done, to maybe be social again. Some of you might have isolated and just kind of gotten to a point where it's like you didn't really feel like going out or you didn't feel like meeting anybody. But it's like now I feel like that's changing because you're going to feel energetically. It's like you're just going to feel this kind of support system around you. You're going to start channeling your soul group more. Um, sexual arts too. I do feel like there might be, like I said, a soulmate or a twin flame that you might be connecting with sexually. And I feel like they might be bringing you a, um, I don't know if it's like sex magic. I don't know if that's the right term, but it's almost like they're bringing you energy through this, like telepathically. It's like, it's coming through, but it's coming through like sexually. I hope that makes sense. Um, but be careful with that too. Like if you get into anything like that, you know, be kind of cautious that you know what you're channeling what you're dealing with but but I that is an energy I'm picking up and I do feel like you guys are discovering your life purpose now like you're getting on track to could be the music for some of you there might be a connection to music here but I feel like you guys are getting on track to just you know to do what you're meant to do do what you want to do soulmate self-love yeah, because you're you're feeling this this love and support. It's like you see how happy this woman is, like or or you know, male or female, but you see how happy this person is. It's like they feel divinely guided and supported. Even if they don't have people physically around them right now, it's like you're you're channeling your soul group. You feel you know that this person, this soulmate or twin flame is out there. You can feel them. You can you might be dreaming about them. You might be telepathically 
communicating with them. It's like, you know, that you're not crazy, you know, deep down that, you know, that you do have your person, you do, you know, deep down that you do have, um, you know, that you do have a soul group. And I do want to say too, and I, I, I normally don't talk about this stuff too much on the channel. I mean, if there's a desire for me, to, if you guys want me to talk about it more, I will. But you know, I usually keep it kind of like, like I kind of stick to love and self help and, and stuff like that. I don't talk too much about the higher realms, just because a lot of people don't understand it. But I do want to say that fairy souls, like fairy spirits, a lot of them, like the fairy souls that have re reincarnated, uh, who have incarnated here on earth, we're not born into their soul groups this lifetime. So for some of you, you could be a fairy soul, basically, is what I'm feeling. But it's, it's basically confirmation. It's like you do you do have a soul group. You know, everybody has a soul group. Like you do have a soul family, even if some of them aren't here with you this lifetime, even if you've been separated like they are. That you, you guys do ch telepathically channel each other. It's like you do... Um, you do connect with each other through dreams, through astral traveling, through psychic states. Um, like I said, some of them might might use people around you to channel through them, like to bring you messages. Like you might just feel that kind of energy, like someone from your past life is coming through another person. I hope that makes sense. If anyone needs clarification on that, let me know. But yeah, like what I was saying, it's like, you see how happy she, he or she looks. It's like, there's no one around them, but it's like, they know that they're loved. They're no, they know that they're supported. They know that they have a soul group, even if they haven't met them yet. Temptation, love. There is a strong, passionate past life connection here too. Alchemy, pride, procrastination, beauty, phoenix rising. Hmm. What is this pride about? Family and tribe. Interesting. Okay. I think for some of you, let's see. I think you're manifesting this love. I think, and I, I, I feel like this inner trigger must be in tune with spiritual things because I almost feel like you're, you're kind of understanding this, even if it's weird. Like, so, cause normally like I don't do reading, I don't do readings like, like about the higher realms very often. Like I'll do like private readings, like for, like for myself or like for like other psychics. I know like we'll talk about stuff that's going on in the higher realms, but I don't usually talk about it on YouTube. But I almost feel like it's like this group, it's like you're very spiritual, so you understand these things, I think, or you're open to them at least. Um, what I am getting for some of you, I feel like your person might be in another realm, but I think that, how do I explain this without, it's going to sound weird. <laughs> um, your person can channel through other people. I hope that makes sense. So you might have, it sounds weird to like call people like vessels, but kind of like sometimes they're kind of vessels. Like there's, it's so much to get into. I don't even know if you guys want to hear all this, but, but, and this isn't for all of you, but for some of you, I do feel like your person isn't like physically here on earth necessarily. Like I feel like they might be in another realm, but I don't think that that means that you're going to be separated them from them for this whole lifetime. I feel like there are, you might meet people and you feel like, oh, this is the one. And like, you feel this familiar soulmate or twin flame past life energy, like all this passion and love. And then you lose them and you're like, what happened? And then you meet someone else and it feels like the same energy where you're like, oh my God, like this is my person. And then like it ends and you're like, oh wait, no, this is my person. I think this is your true love, like channeling through these people. And the thing is there has to be the right balance because it's like, they have to be, they have to channel, like they can come through someone long term, but they have to channel through somebody who's actually going to be open to 
channeling them consistently so that's kind of where it goes wrong sometimes it's like they might channel through somebody and then like that person's soul I hope that makes sense I know that probably sounds so weird but it, it's like your true love might come through and channel through someone but then it's like that person's soul might get in the way like they might first be on board and be like okay yeah let's do this like you can channel through me it's it's almost like a an agreement that's made obviously it's not made like physically like I'm sure this person I mean occasionally like yeah there there might be someone who's conscious of these things but for the most part it's more like soul contracts or it's it's more like people um like in the higher realms there's like that agreement that's made you know what I mean or like in the astral realm it's like this person might be like, yeah, you can like channel through me to be with your true love. And then I'll learn karmic lessons um, as an exchange or something of that nature, you know, but I think sometimes it's like the person's soul get in the way or, or things just kind of change. And there might be more of a clash than expected. So it's like your person has to go and find a different person to to use as like a vessel to channel through. I know that sounds so strange, probably. But um but for some of you, I feel like that's kind of what's happening. And that's why you've been confused. And you feel like all these different people are your person. I actually had a friend. Um, and please let me know in the comments too, if this is making sense. And if you guys like readings like this, because I don't usually like I said, I don't usually do like these type of readings that really get into this stuff, because I feel like people are just going to get confused. So I'd really love to know how you guys feel about this information that I'm channeling about what I'm you know telling you. But um, I had a friend that actually thought Gerard Butler was her person for the longest time. And I was like, well, I don't know if that makes sense. Like he's, you know, he's a famous movie star. Like what are the chances, you know, like, you know, he's probably going to go for somebody in Hollywood, but it was like all the movies that she would watch. She'd be like, like, I think that's like my soulmate. Like I, like she didn't know what was going on. And it turns out that basically, um, like, you know how we get, uh, channeled messages from like songs and, and movie clips and TV shows. Sometimes those are actually spirits that are channeling through to give us those messages. I hope that makes sense. But it's almost like she was seeing his spirit through Gerard Butler. It's like she was seeing him like being channeled through him. She was seeing her person be channeled through him. I hope that makes sense. And that can happen with people in your lives where you might have like a you know, like, let's say you have a close relationship with um, a close female friend, like she might channel your sister or your brother, she might channel somebody for you once in a while, like she might get and it's not like she's conscious of it, I'm sure. But it's like he or she might get these like channeled messages from, you know, from your soul group. Um, Because I mean, we can channel people like the same way. It's It's not just people that have passed on people in the higher realms. It's like we can channel like people that are alive on earth too, you know. It's like when I'm when I do like private readings for clients, it's like I'm channeling your person. I'm picking up on I'm I'm picking up on your person's energy. I'm picking up, I'm tuning into them, into their thoughts, into their feelings. Um but anyway, I hope that makes sense. It's kind of like like their spirit can kind of just come through these people. So I feel like you guys just haven't found the right person to be able to to channel this true love of yours but I feel like with alchemy here I feel like you guys are I feel like you have the key or you're figuring it out or they've something has shifted where it's like they're like they found the right person to be able to channel your true love I hope I hope that makes sense okay um I also want to say I feel like there's something here that you're that you've hidden from yourself that you've like you haven't wanted to fully step into your power or you've been afraid of a darkness inside of you because you see like this is like almost like innocence and like darkness here there's like a balance but I feel like this is like true power you know especially with like the alchemy card here it's like this is like true power this is like being in it's being your full self unapologetically it's being you know it's not dark versus light it's like you're you're taking all these energies you're just being you're being who you were meant to be you're being who you truly are you know what I mean? Like you're expressing your true emotions. You're becoming who you truly are. And I feel like in the past you might have like procrastinated um, and been afraid of those energies and been afraid of your power, been afraid of that wholeness. And I feel like now you're having that integrity and you're seeing the beauty in it. You're not procrastinating anymore. It's like with Phoenix rising here too. It's it's like you're you're coming into this power. You're coming into this state of, of being whole, of, of merging the darkness and the light. 
um, and going through this spiritual psychic awakening. Um, and you're, you're like I said, your soul group is supporting you. There might be something with cats too, because I see this cat and I see this cat as well. Cause, so there might be something with, um, there might be some kind of something, something to do with cats that might be a, a synchronicity for you. But anyway, I hope this, I hope this really made sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I really appreciate your comments. I appreciate you guys uh, liking, sharing, subscribing. And um, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Thanks for watching.